How would you feel if your job offered you to quit for $5,000? I'm Darren, and this is Zon Trends. This week, we're going to take a look at Amazon's new delivery service partner platform and the philosophy behind it. Plus, we're going to take a look at your most frequently asked questions, so make sure to stay till the end. If you love this content, comment in the sections, share, and subscribe. Turns out Amazon doesn't like unhappy employees. On Monday, Amazon took a page out of Zappos' book back in 2014 when they offered their pay to quit program. The pay to quit program is pretty simple. The offer to employees reads, we hope you don't take this offer. And then Amazon offers $2,000 for its fulfillment center employees to quit their job, increasing $1,000 per year until it maxes out at $5,000. Why would Amazon make this offer? Amazon said in a shareholder letter, the goal is to encourage folks to take a moment and think about what they really want. In the long run, an employee staying somewhere they don't want to be isn't healthy for the employee or the company. Amazon is taking it one step further by offering employees up to $10,000 plus three months of paid salary to quit their job at Amazon and start their own delivery service using the logistics and resources that Amazon provides to ensure their success. Amazon will take an active role in helping interested employees start their own businesses through this platform. An employee will leave their role at Amazon to build their business knowing that they will have consistent delivery volume from Amazon, access to the company's sophisticated delivery technology, hands-on training, Amazon branded vans and vehicles, and a ton of other resources. And something that we think that any business owner or entrepreneur can learn from. Because the idea here is that at all costs, you wanna hold on to your happy, motivated employees. We've all had a job where we might have a coworker or a colleague that has mentally or physically, frankly, just checked out. And they bring this negative emotion and, and attitude and baggage into work. It hurts the culture of the company and it slows things down. It, it kind of throws a wrench in the machine. And what Amazon is saying here is rather than go through the painful process of firing or letting people go, they're putting the ball in the court of the employee and asking, do you really want to be here? And if the answer is yes, then you know that you have happy employees. If the answer is no, then the $5,000 is really, frankly, a small cost. And now with the delivery service partner platform, Amazon is sending the message to their employees that they're happy to partner with them. And all the while, they're doing this and continuing to build their logistics. This is really smart stuff here by Amazon and just goes to once again show how outside the box thinking can lead to better company culture and just improvements all around. So now we're gonna just quickly take a look at our most frequently asked question of the week. And this one is brought to us by Jade, who asks, you mentioned in your YouTube video, the higher the competition score, the weaker the competition is. What do you mean by this? There's a little bit more to this question, but I think that the, the answer is, is pretty general, that across all four of those categories that we show, which makes up the average of the niche score, that perfect niche score for your, your product category that you're looking at, you want all of the metrics to be as high as possible. I have a link to an FAQ which breaks this down in full, and we're gonna include that in the uh, description down below. So make sure to click on that link. I go into detail about exactly what scores you wanna be looking for, what constitutes a bad, average, good, and exceptional niche. So make sure to take a look at that because you're gonna get a lot more detail from that. But generally speaking, you wanna make sure that those numbers are as high as possible. And on average, I would say in the 60 to 70% range, that would constitute a good product niche. So thank you very much, Jade, for asking that question. We really appreciate it. Do you have a question? Let us know in the comments below or email us at support at zonguru.com. We'll make sure to help you there. You might even be the question of the week next week. Don't forget to click on the link here to subscribe to this channel so you never miss a beat and you always get Amazon industry news from Zon Trends, brought to you by Zonguru. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Bye for now.